Okay, so when we're talking about really young kiddos, um, I would venture to say that you don't actually have a cutoff for like too young. Um, we have prenatal therapy, we have postpartum therapies that we can offer, um, even with infants, you know, if we're having trouble bonding or creating that mother-child connection, therapy can help with that. But when we're focusing specifically on the child, like as a one or two year old, if they, if they have experienced trauma and we're looking at a therapy modality for them, it is going to by and large be um, either cooperative with the parent if the child is not verbal and can't really even do the play therapy yet, or if they are, you know, two or three and they can start to play and kind of move around on their own, play therapy is a really good option. Um, play therapy, as much as it sounds maybe very relaxed, is actually very, um, very exact and calculated in how it's performed in that the therapist doesn't interact while the child is playing because we don't want to influence what they are doing or what they are expressing with what we feel they should be doing or expressing. It's really more about being observational and seeing where we can kind of extrapolate the child's experience through their expression in play. Um, when it comes to slightly older kiddos, we're talking around you know four to five year olds. Now we can have a little bit of a conversation, very basic language skills. Then our therapy modality would shift into more of kind of like partial play, and then partial uh, dialogue and engagement um, at a very basic level. We talk about big concepts like emotions and primary emotions and, um, you know, good touch, bad touch, and how we feel safe and secure. It's very, very toned down as far as like the topics and, and simplified, but it's done in such a way that it's not me just talking to a five-year-old or, you know, one of our therapists talking to a young kiddo and, it's, you know, just sitting there kind of staring blankly. We have to engage and kind of build a relationship as well. And that's the thing. We have to um, be a friend first when it comes to kiddos. Uh, we have to build that trust in that play relationship. As a therapist, you know, we, we serve many different roles for different age groups, especially for, um, for really young kiddos. We have to be that kind of either friend or surrogate parent figure. Not that we take the place of parents in any way, shape or form, but we have to kind of have this level of security and trust with each other first before we can really address any of those um, underlying issues.